What's up everyone and welcome to our tutorial on installing Next.js. Before we can learn how to use it, we should probably obtain the software and get ourselves set up with a new practice project. So what do we need to get started? We can think of these as being prerequisites. For starters, we'll need a text editor. This is going to be some way to write code. I'm going to use Sublime Text, although feel free to use whichever one works best for you. That's Notepad or Notepad++ or Sublime, either one works. We'll need some way to run Unix commands as well. For those of you who are using Mac or Linux, this will be the terminal. And for you Windows users, this will be Command Prompt or PowerShell. And we'll also need Node.js functionality installed. So I'm kind of assuming you have all three of these things. If not, then please get yourself set up with them before continuing. How do you then go about installing Next.js? Well, one of the best things about this is that there's actually no need to download any bulky packages. We simply start a new NPM project, install React functionality through a couple of command line commands, and then we add a script to package.json, and then finally create a pages directory, and that will be the project fully set up. So what are we going to do in this tutorial here? Well, we'll actually just install our um, next.js functionality and get ourselves set up. We'll first create a new project directory, install that React and Next functionality, and then create the pages directory. So let's head on over to terminal right now. Make, you, make sure you have this up and running. This is, again, for you Windows users, going to be Command Prompt or PowerShell. You'll probably want to run that as an administrator. And for those of you who are using Macs or Linux, if you are running into difficulties with your commands, just try running sudo in front of them. OK, so for starters, we need to make a project directory. I'm going to show you in Finder where I'll put mine. This is going to be under desktop, zenva, next.js, under course, and I'm going to put it right here. It'll just be called something like practice, because we'll be using this just over the next few sections to learn about next.js. So I'm going to first navigate to that location here. Um, so zenva. Then I want to go to next. Then I want to go to courses or course. OK, ls should confirm that there's nothing in here. So let's just clear that off. OK, so the first thing we want to do is make a directory. I'm going to call mine again practice. And I'm going to cd to that practice. And then I'm going to uh, initialize npm. So I'm going to do npm init with the y tag. And that will just create a package.json folder. OK, so we're going to be modifying this script portion in a couple of minutes here. And in fact, this is what it should look like now. We have our practice project, and it just has the package.json. OK, so from here, we're going to, let me just bump that up. We're going to install some React functionality along with the next package. So we'll do npm install dash dash save. That's a double dash there. We'll do react, react dash dom, and then next. OK, this will download and install all of the necessary packages because this kind of runs hand in hand with React. We'll need to get React in there. We'll need the React DOM and we'll need the next package. So this will be all of the downloading and installing that we really need to do. Otherwise, we just modify our package.json script and then, of course, add that pages directory with the necessary files inside of that. All right, so good stuff. If you're getting a bunch of red errors along the side, again, Try running it with sudo in front, or if you're using Windows, then that will be the command prompt or PowerShell. Run that as an administrator. OK, good stuff. So let's bump that up. And now we want to open up our package.json. So you can do open up package.json like this, or if you want to have more control over which program, you can just do so through the finder if that makes things easier for you. I'm going to use Sublime Text for mine. So this is what it looks like right now. This is also what Sublime Text looks like for those of you who have never used it before. And it's nice that it detects it as a JSON file. We're actually just going to add some stuff inside of the scripts tag here. So let's put the comma there. We're going to start with a dev. We want to say that we're developing with next. We want to add in a build option. We want to build with next. So we're going to do a next build. And then finally, we want to um, say that when we start up, we're going to use next start like so. 
So basically just specifying that we're using next.js functionality at every component. So we'll go ahead and save this, command S, and that's it for uh, this file. So we can actually go back to terminal now. Okay, and if we do an ls, you'll note there's actually something missing here. So you remember in the intro, I said there's going to be one final step we'll need to do. That's going to be to create a pages directory. So we're going to make that right now, make directory pages. Okay, and then we're going to cd to pages. Oops, there should be nothing in pages and there definitely isn't right now. All right, so that is it for now. Our project is set up and almost ready for us to use. Well, it's set up, but it's not quite ready to run. We'll need to create our index um, file first and then add some of the code to it. But right now it should look like this. We have the project directory. We've got node modules, package.json, package.json, and then an empty pages folder. Okay, in the next section, we'll create the index.js file. We'll add the code, we'll run it, and then we can start learning about it. So. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.